Somewhere in the world, there's a small child and she's growing up in a world where her future is uncertain. And every day, this little girl, she looks out the window only to see the growing darkness around her. And as she takes a deep breath, she lets out the little cuff and her mind is filled with thoughts of suffering and hardship. Her little hands rustle with the TV remote as the news depict another day with an increase in air pollution. She wants to act, but her voice is far too small and far too vulnerable to question the people who have more power than her. Yet she rises to do whatever she can to ensure a brighter and cleaner future for all of us. We are the Climate Colleens, Anya, Likitha, Jaiti, Pablin, and Lakshaya, who resonate with this girl and her story. And therefore, climate action is crucial to prevent any girl feeling that way. Welcome to Climate Action Target 2030, a presentation by the Brentwood Green Team from Brentwood Secondary College. Today, we are going to share Brentwood's approach to achieving net zero emissions by 2030 to mitigate climate change. Brentwood is currently a four-star resource smart school and has saved over $800,000 in the past six years by completing the five modules of the resource smart school program. At Brentwood, we fondly call our greenhouse gas emissions as Bremissions. Brentwood is working towards zero Bremissions to mitigate climate change. We use various conversion factors available online to convert our resource usage to emissions. Brentwood's greenhouse gas emissions have dropped by 23% in the past five years due to reduction in our energy usage, waste sent to landfill, and improved recycling measures. There is a general upward trend in the emissions offset each year. Brentwood has also managed to offset its emissions by over 464 tons during this time, which is equivalent of removing 100 cars from our roads. It is important to highlight that electricity contributes to 78% of our total emissions. Solar panels, tree planting, and recycling seem to help us offset some of our emissions. Some of our initiatives to reduce our emissions include installing solar panels. Over the past five years, Brentwood has installed a combined total of 97.9 .9 kilowatts of solar panels. This covers 40% of our electricity usage and reduces our CO2 emissions by 134 tons each year. Delay is the new denial. We simply cannot wait until 2050. And anything less than 75% Emission cuts by 2035 means giving up on the 1.5 degree Celsius goal in the Paris Climate Agreement. Right now? Yes, right now. Our seas are rapidly rising and our emissions are soaring and deforestation just doesn't seem to come to a stop. However, why not act? Here's an insight into what Brentwood has been doing to reduce its waste issue. Brentwood's recycling system has been evolving ever since the introduction of the first paper recycling system way back in 2014. We now have three major waste systems, journal waste, commingled recycling, and paper cardboard recycling. In 2021, we launched a 7-Eleven coffee cup recycling program at our school. In 2019, we introduced a recycling station in library to collect pens, markers, mobile phones, and bottle caps. They are sent to TerraCycle for recycling. We introduced, we installed two SCR bins, which includes old clothes and electrical textile bins. On the events like swimming and athletics carnival, we have continued to collect recyclables with the help of students and staff. We organize a cleanup Brentwood Day every year 
during which we go around the school and collect waste. Each classroom in Brentwood has two bins, a com commingled recycling bin and a journal waste bin. We have introduced compost caddies for students to put their compost waste. In 2018, we introduced commingled recycling bins in all of the staff rooms and the offices. Did you know that over its lifetime, an average tree can capture up to 268 kilograms of carbon? Brentwood has capitalized on this fact and has been planting several trees to offset nearly 25 tonnes of emissions every year. Project Brentwoods aims to make sustainable cities and communities, give habitat to the life on land and act against climate change. This year, a new project called Term Tree was launched, which involves planting trees outside of the campus. Brentwood Secondary College pledged to join Generation Restoration by planting several trees across Victoria. In this project, Brentwood is looking forward to planting over 600 tree trees in Mornington Peninsula, very soon to provide habitat for koalas impacted by deforestation. We have partnered with 15 trees to complete this initiative. Term tree tree planting is going to counterbalance nearly 125 tonnes of emissions. Moreover, replacing some of the trees that were burnt and lost in the bushfires from the last couple of years. In this project, Term Trees, so far we have planted over 1,400 natives along the Scotchman's Creek. The purpose of this event was to prevent erosion of the bank of the creek and to provide a habitat for the fauna along the creek. Brentwood Tree Day is an annual event celebrated at our college, where we plant over 60 natives on the college grounds. Tree planting is able to offset nearly 28 tonnes of our emissions every year. The Green Team utilised our time last year during lockdown to create a wonderful meat-free recipe cookbook. We also ran a competition in our college community to trial some of these recipes in remote learning to win house points. Although Meat Freeze Monday's campaign doesn't, doesn't directly offset Brentwood's emissions, this might inspire the wider community and reduce emissions in general. Brentwood is committed to Victoria Climate Change's Take Two pledge by contributing its share to help Victoria reach net zero emissions by 2050. Brentwood Secondary College launched the Towards Zero Bermissions Initiative in 2020. This initiative aims to reduce greenhouse gases in greenhouse gases emissions from the current 540 tons to zero for the, in the next nine years, and hopefully become a pioneer school in Victoria to address climate change by taking action. Towards Zero Bermissions is aligned with Victoria's climate change strategy and circular economy policy. Brentwood's emissions dropped by nearly 23% from 2016 to 2019. We are hoping to sustain and or improve further by switching completely to renewable energy by 2025. The Victorian government has announced recently that all government buildings are going to be run on renewable energy by 2025. We are optimistic that this strategy will significantly reduce our emissions in the future. Brentwood is going to host and participate in several tree planting events in our community and on campus. Our aim is to increase the natural carbon sinks. Brentwood is hopeful that the container deposit scheme and the purple recycling bins to come in two years will add on to our already diverse recycling system. Brentwood will participate in community awareness programs, such as this webinar, to gain momentum to mitigate or reverse the impacts of climate change. Today, millions of girls across the world are fighting for their rights and the rights of the upcoming generations by making a significant reduction in our emissions. Nobody deserves to feel the way this little girl did 
which is why right now we need to come together, not only as individuals, but as schools, because we all share the same desire to reverse such a massive issue impacting billions. Climate action must be taken, especially during these unprecedented times. Climate colleagues would like to conclude this presentation by quoting that Gilza's education, gender equality and women's empowerment are crucial to tackling climate change. According to Brooklyn's institution, educating girls is one of the most effective but overlooked ways to mitigate against climate change. For further information about our projects, please visit our website, brownwoodgreenteam.com.au. Please email us your suggestions and feedback. Thank you School Sustainability Festival for providing us this opportunity to present our ideas.